Hello and welcome. I'm Alfred Weber and um, today is July 16, 2011 that we're recording this program with independent scientist Loren Murray who's coming to us from Berkeley, California. Welcome, Loren. Thank you. Thank you, Alfred. Uh, so this is yet another uh, aspect of the nuclear genocide that is occurring and we could entitle this program uh, Nuclear Food Contamination and <clears throat> U.S. and Canadian Government Complicity are growing. Uh, and so uh, please tell us, uh, let's start out with nuclear food contamination in Japan, which is the initial target company, country of this um, nuclear depopulation genocide event known as Fukushima. Well, it, it seems very apparent now that uh, radiation in Japan um, through the government is being spread willfully and the country, the entire country is coming unhinged. Um, one of the uh, things that's happened just in the last week or two is uh, discovery that these radioactive cattle from Fukushima uh, pre Prefecture, especially from the, um, the evacuated zone, have been distributed to 26 prefectures now, that's the news today, in Japan, throughout Japan without informing anyone. And the one that really blew the lid off of this scandal um, was in uh, Yokohama in an elementary school with a kindergarten and high school. And um, it was um, exposed that very radioactive beef has been fed to these kindergartners and, and elementary children as, as well as the high school children. And um, i just like to read this because um, it's so in detail. And I just, I couldn't, <laughs> I just couldn't put this in my own words, I guess. Um, beef from Fukushima to be tested somehow in Fukushima from now on, but it's too late for school kids in Yokohama. This is July 12th, and it's from an excellent blog, uh, which uh, we can um, put that up on the, on the screen if you want to. Anyway, uh, children from nursery schools and kindergartens up to junior high schools in Yokohama City had already been fed the beef from Fukushima since late April. Then the news of radioactive beef from Minami Soma City broke a few days ago. The news, which had been dismissed by many as baseless rumor and some sort of urban legend in Yokohama and elsewhere, has finally been reported on the Mainichi Shinbun Japanese newspaper, more or less, on July, July 12th. And he's saying they told less of the truth even than they should have. Um, an anonymous reader of my blog, who turned out to be a councilman with no party affiliation, of the Yokohama City Council commented on my blog entry on July 9th that discussed the contaminated beef and radiation exposure of children. He said in the comment, <clears throat> quote, Responding to your post, I'd like to, to, to alert to you to the fact that a large quantity of beef from Fukushima uh, Prefecture has been used in school lunches in Yokohama City without citizens and parents being informed. We are living every day trying to protect our lives and with bitterness and regret at our powerlessness. Please spread the news. Can you imagine, Alfred, how these people in government positions feel about what they know is happening. It's part of the war. It's an information war too. It's psychological warfare. 
Uh, he sent me the link to the simple message board the councilman, Mr. Masataka Ota, keeps for his constituents. So I went, and the following day, in my rough summary of posts and happening since May, posted the councilmen and concerned residents of Yokohama. It may change the impression you may have about Yokohama City. It has changed mine. This is from the, the councilman's post. In mid-May, Yokohama announced that it would measure radiation and food items that go to school lunches. But the only food items tested would be those grown in Yokohama. In other words, none or close to none. Most of the food came from out of Yokohama. For vegetables and meat from Fukushima Prefecture, the city considered safe because they were tested in Fukushima Prefecture. Well, Alfred, maybe they were tested, but maybe they weren't. More likely, they weren't. Uh, because no radiation was even reported. In late May, the councilmen and many of the people who commented on the board were afraid that the city was using radioactive food stuff for school lunches. But there were many posts from people who said, oh, come on, it's just a rumor. And without a solid data from the government officials, we shouldn't speculate. You're all overreacting. There was even a post from a teacher, as revealed by the IP address, especially, apparently, using a school computer who trashed people who were worried about the food safety for children with a vulgar Yakuza-like language. Yakuza is the mafia of Japan. There were messages from parents who had their children carry their own lunches and water bottles to schools and kindergartens and the schools deny their children to consume their homemade lunches and water. So th this is the schools enforcing the yes. genocide. The national government genocide. Yeah. The mayor of Yokohama and the Board of Education president answered the councilmen in a meeting that they considered the food items used for school lunches, quote, are safe, because they are sold in the market, unquote, and that they had instructed the school principals to answer the parents that way when they asked about the safety of school lunches. This is a mafia. This is a nuclear mafia. This is a global network, and some of the people I named are the ones running this. It's run from the United States. Um... Then, in early June, the city of Yokohama relented to mounting complaints from parents and people like this councilman, announced that it would conduct sample testing of the food items for school lunches. At the same time, though, it announced that it would use food items from the disaster-affected areas, in other words, Fukushima, to show support. So, they're talking out of both sides of their mouths but continuing to poison the public. Some parents went to ask their school principals and teachers, quote, why aren't you doing something to find out if the food is safe? Unquote. Their answer, quote, well, everyone's eating it. Everyone's eating it, Alfred. Yeah. Unquote. In the meantime, Schools started to prepare for swimming classes in their swimming pools and not to waste pool water that had been in the pools, which is highly contaminated with the fallout from Fukushima. They used it to water the school gardens and yards. So they just moved the radiation from the swimming pool to the whole outdoor environment. To the horror of parents who were called monster parents for worrying too much about radiation. Then, a bombshell. On June 5th, an insider leaked to the councilman from a concerned foodstuff dealer. The dealer provided the unique identification numbers for the cows whose meat was used in Yokohama's school lunches. 
Here is a food dealer making huge profits with a conscience. They were all from Fukushima. All of the cows that were, the meat was sent to purchase by the Yokohama schools. It was all coming from Fukushima. Why would Yokohama City use Fukushima beef for children? Because it was cheap. Because consumers didn't want to buy Fukushima beef, if they see it on the supermarket shelves, the price of Fukushima beef had plummeted by 40 to 50 percent. No one wanted it. Price went down. A cost-conscious city and schools and kindergartens and nursery schools bought it to feed small children. Without telling them or their parents, the meat was from Fukushima. The city continued to do absolutely nothing. In mid-June, the councilman got another piece of information. Prior to the Fukushima 1 nuclear plant accident, there was no use of Fukushima beef in school lunches in Yokohama ever. This was a totally new source for their beef. All of their beef was now from Fukushima and it was highly contaminated. Um, uh, now, after who, the accident, who would have given the order up in Fukushima to ship the beef to Yokohama? I wonder. Oh, that would be someone like um, uh, Yamashita. Right. It would be it would be the minister of the interior, or right. it would be in the provincial government prefectural government, but they would take their orders from the national government. So, so it would be the Minister of the Interior coming out of his office. So this is a targeted yes. genocide at children. Yes. It's not just yes. the impersonal no. workings of the marketplace, no. in your opinion. Yeah, that's right. After the accident, oh wait, um, let's see. Um, after the accident, the price of Fukushima beef plummeted. Meat dealers got the cheap meat, sold it to the city, pocketed the very fat margin. Schools, both private and public it looks like, fed small children with the potentially contaminated beef with the tacit approval of the mayor and of education. Now... That's yeah, what I found really amazing was this, is that there was one cow here in Canada found with mad cow disease in Alberta. Yes. And yes. Japan cut off all exports of beef from Canada to Japan. And this occurred about two years ago for fear of mad cow disease. And here we have a situation where there's 10 times the levels at least of radiation in the Fukushima area as at Chernobyl and the animals there are clearly are clearly potentially radioactive and potentially dangerous to consume and yet all the meticulousness that was devoted to keeping, I mean, a very, very low risk of mad cow disease coming into Japan was suddenly forgotten at Fukushima. I just want to bring out that particular historical parallel. Well, I'd like to bring out another historical parallel. The Japanese probably had the highest food quality in the world. It's very, very high. I have been in 50 countries and Japan has the best food quality in the world. Um, and I read in the Japan Times maybe 10 years ago that Japanese customs had returned 35 kilograms of dried porcini mushrooms from Italy back to Italy because they said it was too highly contaminated with cesium from Chernobyl. <laughs> 